So Blackie, tell me what happened. She gave me banana. Banana? Yes, we were going to add a third baby mango to the basket and when we turn up at the hospital, me see her with banana. Julie, can you explain how you ended up with a baby banana instead of a mango? Listen, having two children already is stressful enough. Blackie is always working and I barely see him. He said that his mother raised all four of them without complaints, but he doesn't understand that I still need him him to be present, not just his presence. So Dr. Grapes, it got real lonely over here. And then across Mitchell came along giving me all this attention and affection. A girl just wanna be loved. Love? Love is when we make sure you and the little mango Demi can buy clothes and fly out. Love is also about listening to the needs of your friend, colleague, or partner. Blackie is just a brick wall walking around pretending like he doesn't have feelings. Huh. These things don't happen to me because my only love language is bank transfer and members the burden of life on one way. So the more money, the merrier. You all have it wrong. Love is not just a feeling or getting things because trust me, you won't like people every day and they won't always have the things they want. I should know. I see all your points, and there's a reason why you all see love differently. How we relate to each other and our perspective on love is shaped largely by how our parents or guardians would have treated us in childhood. If you came from a home where your feelings and opinions were seen as insignificant, then the pendulum can swing both ways, whereby you dismiss your own feelings and the feelings of others or you're very sensitive to your feelings and that of others. If you found yourself in a household with a lot of conflict, you may become a people pleaser just to avoid conflict or, you know, always wanting to start a fight since you weren't taught proper conflict resolution skills. That's right, Sugarloaf. If your parents or guardians were too controlling, then you might find yourself being indecisive or find yourself wanting to control situations like them. Well, I notice that when our parents are not dependable and consistent, we don't give people room to make mistakes because we fear the same abandonment we suffered in childhood. Funny you say that. This is all true. Not to mention if you had a traumatic experience growing up, it definitely impacted you and this is why self-awareness is important. Doing some introspection on why we do what we do and sitting down with someone who can help is the first step to developing healthy relationships, be it in the workplace, at home, school, or even with your neighbors. Yes, and find people who are in healthy relationships and learn from them. According to 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient, even in the most tense moments. Love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes and always perseveres. All of those characteristics of love that Barry just listed begins with you. Being patient and kind with you. Stop speaking negative things to yourself and holding on to regrets. You can't give more of what you don't have. With that being said, you can't truly love those around you if you haven't learned to love you. And if he don't love you, you cannot expect another person to do it for you, which may explain why you meet the same toxic person with a different face each time. Well said, sugar, love, pine. On a closing note, I must point out that you can't receive all the new and healthy relationships without first dealing with and clearing out the old hurts and pains. Until you do that, you're just going to be passing on all the hurt and pain you've experienced to them. 
So much we could say about this love thing but Dr. Grapes me ready for you deal with this banana situation. Hold on Blackie, I was just laying the foundation. Sugarloaf and Berry. Bouvai, I wish I could stay for this mix up and blender but I'll be sipping juice elsewhere. Yeah, it was lovely being here. Hopefully you learn more about love and remember this is just the beginning. Thanks for joining Fruit Therapy. Have a great day.